Well, first of all, what you were looking at earlier was not a scene from the last Star Wars movie. In fact, it wasn't a scene in a movie at all. What you just saw was completely rendered in real time. Now let's show it to you. Okay, who's, uh, who's driving this morning? Steve, is that you? Yep, we're here. Okay, all right, this is Got Dr. It. Stephen Parker. He's been working on ray tracing his entire career since joining NVIDIA 10 years ago. This has been the undertaking. This has been the endeavor of literally so many people in research, in software, in architecture, in hardware. Everybody's working together to make yeah. this possible. Now here, what he's going to show us now are some of the special effects that you can imagine, that you can do if you have ray tracing. We, we've been working with Epic Games and ILM X Labs on a special project and are showing a prototype of RTX integrated into Unreal Engine 4 through Microsoft's DXR. In this case, we're showing uh, area light shadows, which are quite important for cinematic visual effects. Uh, the tricky part is to get the uh, contact hardening or the sharpening of the shadow uh, near the base of the stormtroopers where they touch the ground. Uh, it helps, it's an important visual cue that helps uh, us understand that those uh, people are standing on the ground. And then uh, we can also see them in a more complicated environment. Now, Steve, the, the, the thing to, to, to say is when you say area lights, area lights is where light is being emitted from an area instead of a spot. Spotlights are relatively easy to do. Area lights are really hard to do. And the reason for that is it's essentially a whole bunch of spotlights. And so the way that the shadow, the way that reflection works and the way that shadow works, shadows are so soft and Notice that there's so many different, different um, uh, essentially the accumulation of a whole lot of shadows, and that's why there's so soft shadows. Uh, exactly. Going. And, and in some cinematics, it's important to uh, control the shape and, and scale of the light so that you can control the shadows so that they f fall where, they, where the producer would like them to fall. So, that's, that's incredible. Well, let's, let's take a look at another scene. Let's see so something this, is, this is shadows and lighting. Now, this is reflection. So another thing that ray tracing is really good at is reflections. Uh, we can see them here uh, in an environment uh, such as, as the elevator that we saw in the clip. You can see the reflections on the, on the stormtroopers uh, as well as them reflecting each other. But to really show them off, we need to bring in something even more shiny. And uh, so now look here, at this. This is reflections on reflections. Check out Captain Phasma's gun reflecting on, on uh, Phasma's chest right there. You see that? Reflections right. of reflections. So all those things have to be shaded multiple times, shading the primary surfaces as well as the reflections, and that's what, one of the things that makes it really difficult. And, and these rays are bouncing all over this environment. These rays, every single one of those rays are bouncing off the environment, and every time it strikes a surface, it has to figure out, do I reflect, do I refract, do, am I absorbed, and how much is it absorbed? Where does other rays come from that I need to accumulate? And then it bounces off, and it goes to another place, and it strikes another surface. And then it strikes all these different surfaces. This light is bouncing all over the place as it strikes these surfaces, figures out what the rendering equation is at that moment, as it strikes that surface, accumulates it for the entire scene with all of these billions and billions of rays. This is how this is recreated. Now, of course, doing so would just take enormous number of computers. And that's why film studios have supercomputers. That's why Pixar has supercomputers. That's why Industrial Light and Magic has supercomputers. And they use these supercomputers to calculate these rays one at a time as it bounces and strikes these surfaces and creates this image. And the more reflections, the more refractions, the more ways that the light, the ray can bounce before it's absorbed completely, the more reflections and refractions, the harder it is. There are so many little visual cues. Stephen Parker, NVIDIA ray tracing team. What an amazing achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, everything that you're seeing here is completely in real time. Now, this complete demo, yep, there you go.
It's completely in real time. And it's running on one, one DGX station. Instead of a supercomputer rendering these scenes one frame every 10 hours, this is now running on one DGX computer with four voltas in real time. This is what we can do now. $68,000 computer versus a supercomputer.